brine shrimp in Great Salt Lake are very important. They're called a keystone species. Um, they're one of two macroinvertebrates, um, the brine shrimp and the brine flies. And brine shrimp are very well adapted to living to a very extremely salty Great Salt Lake. Um, and so every year their life cycle starts in the springtime when they start to hatch out. Um, they have a hard shelled egg. It's kind of like an M&M. There's a little embryo in the center that's soft and that's what hatches out into the water. And then the outside shell is very hard and it makes them almost indestructible. Um, you can put them in heat, you can put them in salt, and they're almost indestructible. Um, so in the springtime, when the environment is very, very good, they hatch out and you'll see that there's um, these active young, those active young, um, they're called their larva or they're also called Anopolis. And those little brine shrimp, they eventually grow into um, into uh, juveniles, they go through they go through their um, molting stages and they um, become juveniles and eventually uh, they become adults. Um, you can tell the adult males from females because the males have big claspers on top of their head. The females, they have a brood sack that holds all of their eggs. And these brine shrimp, they're so cool. The females, they can hold up to 300 either live young or eggs in their brood sack. So they're really cool too because they can switch how they have young. They can either have live young that is put right into Great Salt Lake, or they can make those dormant cysts that, that can withstand all of the cold and the ice that comes in the, the winter time to hatch out in the spring. So all of the adults, they die off in the winter time when it's too cold for Great Salt Lake.